In ancient China, people believed the life after death was as important as the life in living world. The imperial palace is shared by the empress, but imperial tomb isn't. So ancient Chinese emperors really care about their tombs. In Qing Dynasty, the tomb of the emperor and the empress is called Ling. For the consort, the princess, and the prince, their tombs are called Qing. Generally, the empress tomb starts to be built when the emperor is alive. After the tomb is finished, the dead empress can be buried in the tomb first. Now, Daoguang's tomb, Mu Lin, is located in the Western Qing tombs. But originally, Daoguang's tomb is located in Eastern Qing tombs. After that tomb is finished, Daoguang's first wife, the Empress Xiao Mu Cheng, is buried there. Later, Water seep in the underground tomb room. When people find it, the coffin of the empress is soaked in the water for a while. So Dao Guang has to rebuild his tomb. Once the imperial woman has chance to become the empress daughter, she can have her own tomb. But in cultural perspective, the empress tomb is a filiated tomb of her husband's tomb. For example, Yong Zheng's tomb is called Tai Ling. The empress Xiao Sheng Xian's tomb is located in east of Tai Ling, so her tomb is called Tai Dong Ling, Eastern Tai Ling. Jia Qing is buried in Changling. The Empress Xiao He Rui's tomb is located in the west of Changling. So Xiao He Rui's tomb is called Changxi Ling, Western Changling. In Qing Dynasty, before Yong Zheng, no consorts are allowed to be buried with the Emperor. Kangxi's imperial noble consort Zhe Min is the first consort who is buried with the emperor. But this is not from Kangxi's will. Yong Zheng moves her coffin to Kangxi's Jingling. When Yong Zheng passes away, his true love, the imperial noble consort Dun Su, is buried with him in Tai Ling. Then Qianlong had three imperial noble consorts who are buried with him. After Qianlong, no consorts are buried with the emperor. Generally, the emperor's consorts are buried in consorts' tombs. For example, Yong Zheng's consorts are buried in Tai Ling Fei Yuan Qin, the consort's tombs of Tai Ling. In Qing Dynasty, nine emperors totally have 235 recorded consorts, except five imperial noble consorts who are buried with the emperor. Not all of the consorts are buried in consort's tombs. For example, Kangxi has 79 recorded consorts, but only 48 are buried in Jingling's consort's tombs. When the emperor is buried in his tomb, he will bring lots of treasures. In Ming Dynasty, those treasures are put in the boxes beside the Empress Confin. In Qing Dynasty, treasures are put in the Confin. So when the tomb is robbed, 
The robbers must break the coffin, move the body out, then get the treasures. This causes once the tomb is robbed, the body highly possible is destroyed. For example, after Qianlong's tomb is robbed, his bones and his imperial women's bones are mixed together. In later Jin and early Qing dynasty, before it's buried in the tomb, the empress' body is cremated. Because treasures are in the coffin, those treasures are burned with the body. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.